Hey there, it's Hillary, and today I'm going to be doing my March recap and my April TBR. I know we're partway through the month of April. Sorry that it's taken so long to get to my TBR. I've actually already read two books that are on my TBR, so, you know, go me. So, starting off with my March recap, I read five books for the month of March, starting with Queen of Air and Darkness. I gave it four stars. I thought it was a good conclusion to the series. I just really thought that the amount of sexual content was way too much. I think with this being advertised as a young adult book and Cassandra Clare being a young adult writer, it really should have been toned down. I'm not saying that books with sexual content are bad. I'm just saying that if you're going to advertise as a young adult book, there shouldn't be the amount of sexual content in a book as it is in that book. I just, I imagine like if I didn't read these books and my child came to me at like 12 or 15 years old and wanted to read this and you know I didn't know very much about it and I just looked up you know what it was and saw that it was a young adult book and it's aged for like 12 to 18 and I let her read it. I, I feel like it would just not be good and it would be something that really had to be spoke about afterwards. I hope that when my children get to be that age I definitely will do more research now knowing that these type of things can be in books that my children might be reading. The next book that we I read for the month of March was Angry Housewives Eating Bonbons. This book was the, our book club's pick of the month. I gave this book three stars. I just felt like it wasn't what I was expecting going into it. I just thought it was going to be this happy, fluffy, contemporary story, like a mix of Sex and the City meets the movie Now and Then, like a Sex and the City set in the 70s. I just went into this book thinking it was going to be great and there's some really heavy content in this book, like definitely trigger warnings for rape and abuse and that's not what I was expecting going into that book so definitely when I hit those parts of the story it was just super heavy. Next I read Evermore and I'm going to be honest I only gave it three stars and I was really disappointed by this story. I loved Everless so much. I thought it was such an amazing concept for a story and then getting Evermore I just felt extremely bored and it just took a long time to get to any content and it just didn't feel like it was a very satisfying second part of the story. I just think it could have been done so much better. I just felt like I was trudging through this book trying to get to the ending thinking that the ending was going to be amazing and then the ending wasn't even that great. So I was really disappointed in that book. Now for the only physical book that I have. I read The Lion and the Witch and the Wardrobe. I have decided that I'm going to definitely try to finish this series this year. It was on my TBR for the year for last year to finish it. I'm definitely going to do it this year. So I finished book number two. I gave this four stars. I definitely felt like this was very iconic as I was reading it. I could picture like the scenes from the movie in my head. And I think it followed along really closely with what I can remember. Like there were some things that were slightly different and I feel like the ending to the book and the movie were different. But for the most part I think they did a really good job following them along really well. These books are really short, they're really easy reads and I feel like they are like taking you back your, to your childhood. And I really like that. And the last thing that I read for the month of March was The Demigod Diaries by Rick Riordan. I gave this book five stars. I just thought the short stories that were in it were amazing. I loved the short story about Luke. I felt like that gave us some really good backstory on him. I loved the last one. I thought that was a really interesting like idea for like what was going on. And I thought it was really cool that it was written by Rick Riordan's son. And the one in the middle I liked as well, but I just really enjoyed the first one where you see Luke and you see Thalia and you see Annabeth. I just really thought that it was great. And I just love Rick Riordan's writing so much. I will read like all the Rick Riordan that I can get. 
All right, so for my April TBR, I'm gonna go ahead and start by saying the two things that I read. I have already read The Mermaid and Mrs. Hancock. I was actually very disappointed in this book. I gave it two stars and I felt like I don't read a lot of like historical fiction, but I have read some and what I have read, I have enjoyed most of. So this story, it was just really boring and I felt like they talked about sex a lot. The women talked about having sex, having sex to get things, having sex to better themselves in society. They talked about like brothels and living in them and working in them. Like there was just a lot of like sexual content. Like, but it wasn't so much like, oh my gosh, sex in your face, like inappropriate. And I think that's why the story still ended up being boring. I don't know. And I think going into this book, I was thinking like Little Mermaid type story. It's not a fantasy. And if you're thinking Little Mermaid, that's not what you're going to get from this book. So I went into this thinking expectation reality and the expectation was nothing like what the story was going to be. And so maybe that led to a little bit of why I was so harsh on it, but I still thought that the story was boring. So even if I had have thought the story was going to be like this and it ended up being like this, it was still really boring and it was just hard to get through. And the other thing that I've read is our book club's book of the month and it's The Rest of Us Just Live Here. I thought this was a really interesting take on like a spoof or parody story. Definitely reminds me of when I read Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. They have like the same type of feel of when you're reading them and I actually didn't think it was too bad. I haven't rated it yet. I'm still like thinking it over and deciding what I'm going to rate it. I think I'll add like an edit at the bottom when I decide what I'm going to rate it after I've thought about it and processed and see how I feel. But I actually didn't mind the story. I know it's one of those stories that a lot of people don't like it and a lot of people do like it. I just think you have to remember the type of story that you're reading. Like this is definitely like a spoofy parody type story and I think it was done really well for the type of story that it is. The next thing that I want to read is The Good Neighbor. It's the like biography type story written about Mr. Rogers. I grew up on uh, Mr. Rogers neighborhood and I just like reading books by and about Mr. Rogers. I just think he's such an amazing person and I'm really looking forward to reading this book. I did not see the movie that just came out about him, but I am curious if they are similar. So if you know, let me know down in the comments. Someone asked me if they were similar and I honestly didn't have an answer for them because one, I didn't see the movie and two, I haven't read the book yet. So I really don't know. The last book that I read by Mr. Rogers, I didn't enjoy as much as I was hoping because it was like more of like a book of quotes by him. So I'm hoping that I'll really enjoy this one because it's like a book about his life. The next thing that I want to read, I should be getting from the library, is the Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I'm really looking forward to reading this. It is something that I actually want to see on Broadway. So I want to read the book. I'm really curious of like where the story is going to go. I have had people read it and tell me that they really liked it and then I've had people read it and they told me they really hated it. I think it all depends on the mindset that you go into this with because it's more of like a fan fiction type thing. So you, I think you have to remember that going in and I'm looking forward to seeing what I think about it. If you've read it, let me know down in the comments what you thought about it. And I am going to read The Horse and His Boy this month. This is the third book in the Narnia series. I'm going to read this one. It's fairly short. It is 224 pages-ish. I'm not sure if they turned this one into a movie. I feel like I would remember this as a title of a movie and I don't. I'm, I know they made Prince Caspian a movie and I think they made Voyage of a Dawn Treader a movie, but I feel like they just skipped over this one completely when they made the movie. So I am looking forward to reading this one this month and continuing on with my series. I'm going to start the Shiver series. I almost said trilogy, but they did at the fourth book. So I'm going to read this this month. I do love Maggie Steve Otter. I really enjoyed the Raven Cycle series. So I am looking forward to giving this one a read. I have read some of her other books as well. 
and I'm looking forward to giving this one a read and reading this series this year as well. I do want to read some more books that are from series that I've started in the past. I want to continue that. That's my other goal for the year. Not only to read the Narnia series, but it goes along with it. I like to finish all the series that I've started in the past year or two and just haven't finished them. Now, it'll be a different situation. Like if I read the book and I didn't enjoy the series, I'm not going to continue it. And if the series is not complete yet, I'm not going to worry too much about that. But series that are finished being written, I'm going to try to complete them this year. And I actually have quite a few. I've got like nine or ten that I've started and not finished. So those are the things that I want to get to. There are six things that I want to get to and I've already read two. So I don't think we're doing too badly on getting through this list. So thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a like. It really helps out my channel. And if you'd like to see more videos by me, please feel free to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you know when I post videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!